Okay, guys, look at this. We've got a double trouble here. <laughs> and believe me, they are double trouble. Um, we've got a double trouble from John Eggington and Ting Tong. Um, and uh, I've, uh, I, yeah, I've, uh, <laughs> I've been trying to battle with these ones to try and get these uh, picked. Now, I've managed to pick uh, Ting Tongs um, and John Eggington's. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're both evil. And they're both, they both take quite a bit of time to actually... Uh, Get open. This one here is Ting Tong, um, and uh, you can see right from the off there we've got a couple of uh, uh, I think we've got like, a couple of serrations up there, and uh, we've got like what looks to be like quite an evil little tea pin in the back there. And on John Eggington's side, we've got lots of evilness there, as you can see. And of course, there's some more evilness at the back. We've got trouble there, and John Eggington there, and uh, Ting Tong, and double there obviously both the keys are mummied um, i'm guessing this is the key for a ting tongs one obviously with the island man key ring there and then obviously the other one there is uh, i guess for um john eggington's one now i've never picked a ting tong lock so we're going to go for this one first um and uh, and then obviously we'll have a go at john eggington's uh, afterwards so let's get this in the vice five pinner um yeah <laughs> let's see where we go with this so we're in for a bit of a battle it's um yeah these are these are, are tough tough locks these are um so listen let's uh get that in the vice and let's see if we can get this bad boy open today and see what's inside i'm really looking forward to see what's inside i said i have picked them both and uh, they're both evil this uh they should, be, they should have been called the evil twins i think uh, i'm gonna go in with a side tension wrench um and uh yeah, we'll go in with this little uh, sort of medium hook first, just to try and nudge some pins. Got a little click out, out of one there, double click out of one. Little click out of two, little click out of three. Okay, I'm just being quite gentle with it at the moment. It's, um, it, it's, a, it's a really tricky lock, I've got to say. It's, uh, you know, well done to the pair of you. You're both... Uh, you both uh, have me in a headlock, I'll tell you. Okay, we've got a nice little full set there now. A bit of movement on the core there. And I'm just playing really gently with this thing, just looking for, for any movement on a pin. And uh, and then we'll just slowly edge them up and see where we go with it. Okay. We're going to get to a stage where we need uh, slight, something, something slightly steeper um, because I think there's some quiet... Um, drastic uh, bit, I think. I think pin one is pretty much only needs to be nudged, and, uh, and then I think pin two is quite high. I haven't quite worked out what's going on with three or four yet, and then five is quite high, I think. But we will see if we can get this bad boy open. Okay, let's just go for something a bit steeper. I'm just going to go with this, uh, this Matador Sparrows pick. Quite difficult because the warden doesn't exactly help. You know these uh, Euro style wardens. It's uh, they're, they're, they're just constantly being restricted by them as well. Okay, I've set one there. Okay, that's one. This thing is chucking quite a deep full set well before it um starts to tie up his belt a bit. Okay, there you go in quite a full set now, as you can see. But we're nowhere near open yet. Okay, I ain't got two that time. Okay. Come on, get comfortable, does. That's better. Okay. Three. Three feels overset. Just release the tension a little bit on that one. Okay, really deep full set now, a five or four, I think. Okay, another little click out of uh, four, I think that was. One feels good. Okay, two feels good now. Three feels on the floor. Try and get pin. Try and get the the pick. Actually, on the pin is quite a challenge as well with these. Okay, I go 
nothing were open. No, we're not. I need another tension wrench. That's not good. Oh my god, I thought I was open then. And we are in one hell of a full set there. Oh, crazy, crazy. Look, I can even take it off. Look at that. I mean, that should be open, shouldn't it, surely? <laughs> oh dear, I'm in all sorts of trouble. Okay. Oh, we are open. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Super. I thought we were in a full set there. Okie dokie. All right, listen, I'm going to take that because that is one bad boy lock, that is. Okay. So this is double by Ting Tong. Let's put that down there. Okay, I'm really pleased I've got that open. I know I've chucked my tension wrenches everywhere there. Okay, let's get composed. Let's get a pin and tray over. We've got the uh, uh, red cat imaging um, pin and tray there. And uh, let's get a follower. Uh, let's get one of these ones here. I think that's going to be better. Okay. I've got these uh, followers. I think they're PTFE. Um, they're like super, super slippery, absolutely brilliant. I've got the idea off of um, Lock Noob and uh, bought, <laughs> bought loads of them. Just buy some uh, some of this tubing and uh, some of this um, rod and uh, cut them up and you can make whatever ones you want. So I've got little half round ones there and all sorts. Wonderful stuff, great idea that was. Okay, back to this, okay. Right, let's see if we can get this clip off. I don't really want to use the, uh, the key. I'm not into opening keys up. I think it come to me mummied, so it's got to go out mummied. Okay, let's see if we can get this open here. Okay, that should be good. Okay, that's good. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's get the shim in. Okay, why is that not playing nicely? Okay, I don't want to just move this slightly around here. Don't want to lock it up. Ah, that's better, I've got it in now. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, very extreme bit in there. Uh, number one's virtually just at the top, and then number four's at the top, and then two, three, and five. I've got number five, I mean, that needed picking. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at these awesome pins. Okay, one, two, see everything's been threaded yeah no wonder it's an absolute nightmare superb work there my friend ting tong and we're gonna need a set of tweezers uh, where's all the tweezers gone oh give me strength I don't have to go from this oh, there we go. Got some. whoa that's close sorry about that guys Okay, so let's get the uh, okay, so let's get them all rotated the right way around. We'll have a good look at them afterwards, of course. I can always see there's some absolutely awesome work here. Okay. So pin one. Barely breaking the, uh... okay, I think that was, got like a little teep in there. I think that went that way. Okay, nice little copper spring. Okay, as you can see there, that one's got a spring cord around it as well. And that one went that way, with a little spring there. And Oh god, <laughs> a little sprung loaded pin there. So that went there. And then that went there. Awesome, awesome work. Okay, and that one went that way. And a 
spring is still. Okay, another pin in pin here, I think. Went that way. And that just a little sharp T pin there. We'll have, oops, alive. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And the sixth one. like that with a steel spring if it wants to come out oh we got oh god another sprung loaded pin there I think in fact I bet okay we've got two springs in there well I'm guessing it went like that Okie dokie, wow, oh, wow, there's some, definitely some work gone into that. Okay. Let's have a good look at this. Okay, so we've got in pin one, we've got this really nice serrated pin there with a, like a little uh, serrated, um, it's like a little serrated T pin there. So it must have gone around that way. Didn't look like it went that way, I must say. I think it come out went that way. I'll have a look at the video afterwards, but I think it went that way. Yeah, come on. Come on, butterfingers. So it doesn't want to play ball, does it? Okay. And then we've got this one here, which is a really nice sort of spool serrated pin there. With this sort of Teep in there, which had a spring going to it, and then a wafer, and then another spring. <laughs> Absolutely awesome work. Um, very fine serrations on that one there, with this wonderful, wonderful sharp teep in uh, sort of a uh, spool there. And you can look at that for a keeping. Unbelievable, fantastic work there, my friend. Um, with a sort of serrated teep in there. And then we've got a spool, uh, sorry, a T-pin uh, driver there with a sort of wedding cake sort of step down spool there with a little spring, a wafer and another spring. Absolutely awesome work. No wonder it gave me so much grief. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So that is, and obviously the key was mummied, which is still in the box there. Um, so this is a uh, double um, by Ting Tong. And uh, yeah, an absolute nightmare. So uh, listen, thanks so much for uh, pinning it up and sending it over to me. And uh, I'll get this pinned back up and uh, sent back out for the next victim. And of course, I'll have a go um, trouble next. Listen, guys, take care. Have a nice day.